So now we're going to simulate another day and see what happens. Any responses to our offers? So now Bournemouth have accepted the deal for Milo. So I'm going to offer him 100k and it's uh, going to be an important first team player. So he'll be important. And um, now Liverpool. So they still want more for Laporte. So I'm going to make an offer of 43 million for Laporte and see if we can get him there. And yeah, um, one more day. One more day of simulation. Oh my god, wow. Bournemouth got ripped off. Holy jeez. So Juve have accepted the deal for Rugani, and Spurs have accepted the deal for, I believe it was, uh, Renato Sanchez. So Daniele Rugani is going to come in. Uh, 20, 85 overall, 26 years old. Uh, Spurs have accepted the deal for Renato Sanchez. It's around like 70 million, and he's going to be a brilliant player, honestly. He's kind of the defensive beast that we want. And he's really going to enable our more offensive players to go forward. It's so not for Kingsley Coman. Um, Coman, we're going to offer 45 million. We're going to offer 48 million plus Quintero and see if they're willing to take that. As he's a player who I could easily see growing to a 90. And um, yeah, so we're going to be taking this team into the next game. So currently we have a three point lead on. Um, uh, Napoli for the third spot in the league. So, we win the game. We could be tied on Roma with Roma on points, but we're not 100% sure about that. So, at the moment, um, none of our players are in the top goal scorers in the league, which is a little disappointing. You would have expected a bit more from us. But, um, Inter's had a good season. They've been okay. Um, Vieto's very good, but that finish at the end was just awful. So now, um, El Shirawi. He may be someone who I consider. Uh, I'm probably going to drop a Quintero he'll um, I'm gonna offer a let's say uh, Capri plus 20 million so yeah we're gonna make that offer and then we're gonna be getting right into the game versus Hellas <sighs> Verona so it's been an interesting episode so far we still have 175 million pounds in the wage budget. Uh, I mean, in the transfer budget. So, um, it's probably going to be down to about, um, well, with Sanchez, 60 million, and then Laporte, 45. So, we'll still have about uh, 65 million plus around, like, say, 100k left in the wage budget, even with those two deals done. So, uh, we still have some flexibility. Yeah, but uh, in addition, um, Concast is going to make his first start for the team. Uh, we're going to be going back to our usual 4-2-2, um, I believe it is. So Cedric has been good, but what I'm going to do is Concast is going to get the start there as he has more stamina. In addition, um, obviously, Oblak is going to start, and so Brozovic is going to come in for Joao Mario. And then uh, that's going to be the look of the offensive lineup. Um, as we do have a week break, so that may we may actually have more of a chance to use him than we thought. And uh, Joao Mario is going to come on half time, as um, he doesn't have enough stamina. He's really tired. So should we know? I'm going to use a Gunakori. Yeah. So Gunakori, it's going to be. Um, uh, I'm not going to use Santon. So there we go. We're going to put a Gunakori there. So it's going to be a um, front two of Martial and Vieto. Um, Two cams are going to be Bernadeschi and Quintero. I mean, front two of Martial and Vieto. Uh, fr front two cams of uh, Bernadeschi and Quintero. Um, a CDM pair of Gudikori and Brozovic. And then in the back, we got Grimaldo, Reyes, Condogbia, and the new signing for 16 million, uh, Concas. Very good marking. Um, he is a solid... St oh, stand tackles a little weak. So, he's going to be... He's going to go into the training sessions a lot because... He has probably huge potential. I'm betting around, let's say, 87. So, with him, um, I think he... Because I don't know who else really needs the training session that badly. But, uh, yeah. Let's uh, continue on from there. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys later. So now, we're getting into our second Serie A game. We are playing 
against Hellas Verona. So, um, obviously we made um, two, three signing, four new signings. Martial, Concast, Grimaldo, and Oblak. We're all going to be in the team as we prepare to take on Hellas Verona. Hey guys, what's up and welcome. So now we're getting into the second ever Serie A game for us. Obviously, one of the main players who's making our debut, his debut, is a Slovenian goalkeeper by the name of Jan Oblak. That is right. So, a uh, brand new keeper. He is it's probably the main debutant after Martial made his debut in the uh, Copa Nazionale versus Atalanta. So, yeah. Either way, um, our lineup is a 4-2-2-2, two, two, two. Um, and I think I already showed you guys the lineup, so, but yeah, I'm um, looking forward, uh, hopefully I won't have to use Condoglia in the center midfield position, for, I mean center back position for much longer, and um, Hellas Verona, um, I swear I've heard of a Viviani before, that's literally the only player I know other than, other than that I have no clue who any of those players are. Nicori now over to Quintero. Terra now over to Vieto. Luciano Vieto. Ah, uh, and it's knocked away from him. Oh, jeez. Wow. It's a horrible tackle. And that's a deserved yellow card. So I'm probably going to make a substitution now. Quintero's dead. So. Um. I guess I'm going to play this Kapari. I guess Kapari is going to be playing for him. The Turbo's going to come on for Vieto. And, um. And well, other than that, no change is necessary. Oh, come on! Oh, he went through right through the back of him. Okay, that's got him. Wow. He went right through the back of him there. I was kind of expecting a little bit more. But, um... Uh, yeah, now I'm realizing, um... Maybe we should be going for more squad depth. Because the squad depth is horrible. Capardi, what a save! I save Martial. It's Condogbia. Oh, what a goal by Condogbia! I mean, Gregory from outside of the box lashes that beautiful strike right into the top corner. Bernadeschi to Gregory, and Gregory smashes it. Oh, 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 yes! What a finish from Gregory there! Absolute brilliance. And there we go. Um, we grab a 1-0 victory. Very narrow. This is definitely much more of a challenge, to be honest with you. Holy jeez. I feel like I'm going to start be looking through for more of some backup players. Like, I feel like um, I may be going in for someone like Mateus Pereira. Who I had in the, um, I believe it was the, C the, yeah, of course, I had him in Dortmund. So, now... Pretty much trying to simulate a day two four. There's not going to be any games for a little bit of a while. But let's take a look. Stefan de Vries. Oh, you know what? Maybe we go for Stefan de Vries. You know what? Let's put in a thirty-five million pound bid for him. He'd be someone I might try to get. All right. So now Renato Sanchez accepted the offer. So Renato. Okay. Renato Sanchez. Welcome to Inter Milan. In addition, another player who I'm going to consider is Daniele Rigani, but um, I might also go for Milo, so I'm going to have to think about that a little bit. So Liverpool have accepted the deal for Imeric Laporte, so that's a deal I'm more than happy to take. Um, All right, there we go, and yeah, I'm Eric Laporte may be coming in. So let's take a look at uh, the new man, Renato Sanchez. Take a look. There's so many dark green stats. He's an incredible player to have, and um, yeah, four star, three star, um, just a really good player. And obviously, he is going to be jumping into the lineup, and he's going to be going in place of Brozovic. So one of the players I'm going to be making an offer for is um, 
Chase Pereira. He's going to be an excellent player. He's going to be coming off the bench usually. And, um, yeah, he's going to be coming in. So, another player I'm going to make an offer for is um, obviously a very good player. His name, obviously, is Maximilian Meyer. Yep, so uh, we're going to start off with a 31.5 million pound offer for uh, Maximilian Meyer. And I think we can get him on the cheap, given the fact that he is out of contract in the summer.